What's up, bro? Oh, dude, you sneaky bastard. You're already in here. <laughs> I figured out how to um, how to make it work again on the new computer. Dude, I heard you breathing the whole time over, man. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. But guys, this is Joe Kelly, man. He's our head moderator, the creator of the accelerator course. Um, you have guys, if you have any questions for us, now's the time. Let's talk whatever you want to talk about. Joe's going to be on the YouTube guys. I'm going to be in, I'm going to be in chat here. If you have any questions, write them out here in the webinars channel. And uh, we're here to help, man. We're here to help. If you guys want to, you know, post your charts, we can critique them. Um, this look guys, we are a team to help you. I can't say that enough. So whatever questions you guys have, whatever you're stumbling on, whether it's psychology, if you want to post some charts that we can comment on, whatever it is, man, whatever it is, let's, uh, let's get some questions. Uh, so a question from YouTube is, do you guys have, well, the question is actually, do y'all, do y'all have fundamental strategies we can learn? Dude, we do. We have a whole, here, check this out. I'm going to show you right now. Where is, I think I minimized it. Dude, check this. You kidding me? We got a whole series on it, bro. We got a whole series on fundamental analysis. Fundamental analysis series with Chicago Trader. How many pages do we have? Let's go to the last. We have. I don't know. There's 45 episodes. So it's 45 videos. Dude, 45 videos, eight pages of videos. Like, how sick is this, man? He goes into deep dives on certain tickers, explains why they offered, explains why they had dilution, explains how to read an SEC filing. Dude, yes, we. To answer your question, yes, we do. <laughs> uh, does the accelerator course teach fundamentals? It teaches the basics of it. It does not go into full detail because that wouldn't be <laughs> an entirely different course. Literally, yeah. And we already have that in the fundamental series. So nice. it gives you the uh, framework and the foundation to be able to um, understand what you're looking at, but it does not go into hours and hours and hours of detail uh, on um, fundamental analysis well, well, and, here's and i've done some like valuation webinars too on how to do a valuation on companies like big cap companies but if you're trading small caps i'm just going to say this if you're trading small caps um and you're wanting to trade based on fundamentals uh okay you better have million dollars more power to man. you because that's a fucking pipe dream. Sorry, but I'm going to say it just as blatant no, as Joe, I that, possibly that, can. No, that's exactly what I was going to say, bro. I, I, I'll be honest, man. Look, if, you're, if your question is, hey, you know, I want to learn fundamentals, you're, you're asking the wrong questions, man. You're going to learn fundamentals, but if you're trying to base a trading career on just fundamentals and not learning chart and what we teach and how to do these lines and how to yeah. see why this failed at 240, it's very hard to have a career, man. I mean, those are the guys that just add, add, add. They're down 200 grand first. And then they, yeah, sure, they'll make 300 grand. But dude, you got to have million dollar accounts to just play fundamentals and add, add, add. That, that shit doesn't work, dude. That's outdated. It's about lines, man. It's about price yeah. action it's it's a culmination of everything sure but it's about price action and yeah if you're gonna day trade fundamentals mean very very little because price will outlast fundamentals for hell years take take for example intel sat the, the ticker i uh, oh god i remember I. that one go dude. to i you want me to bring that charts up? yeah i remember that one it's a it's a new ticker now but uh go to like a daily chart uh they change it now, Joe? It, it, there's a new, it's a new ticker, but just click I. Just go to I and I then go to a daily up. chart. It's not pulling it up, brother. No, you're on a three-minute chart. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, no, I mean, it's just not Still pulling not. up data. Yeah. What is it now? INTQ? That's They're bankrupt guy. now, basically. Um, uh, I, no. Hmm. I, somebody fill me in here on another example, Joe? Intel Sats ticker is now. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so uh, let me see what it is. It's a great example of what I'm trying to talk about. Hang on. Let me do the look up. Yeah, man. Post it right here. If you can swim. find it. I N T E Q. E okay. There it is. There we go. And then pull up a, pull up like a five okay, year, 15, 15 year. Yeah, there you go. Year. So 
Dude, I was on YouTube long before, uh, long before MIC ever existed, talking about how this company was the giant, like the steamingest pile of fraudulent shit. <laughs> and I was short, and I was short, like scroll to the left. Oh no! Were you I was in short show? in that run up, and I had in like a like a eight fifty average, oh, and the day God. it ran to ten eighty on earnings because basically I predicted that the earnings were going to be fucking awful, and the earnings were that. awful. So Joe's shorting guys right here because he thinks that the that the fundamentals are that terrible, all based right? on fundamentals, nothing based on technicals at all, all a fundamental trade, okay. And okay. I kept adding and I kept adding and I kept adding and I kept adding. And basically price outlasted my liquidity in that situation. You stopped and... out right here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually stopped out at 1080. So like oh, I was adding good. a lot between eight and 10. Um, and then they had earnings and the earnings were fucking awful. And then a Goldman Sachs rep got on the phone and asked a question about that was kind of alluding to whether they were going to offer at these inflated prices because fundamentally they were very inflated. And the company said, well, we've got about two years worth of capital left. So we're not ready. And so basically they kind of hinted at they weren't going to offer. And all of a sudden the shit went from like 840 because it was gapping down hard in pre market. It went from like 840 to like 1020 in like one candle, like in one one minute candle, it was just sure. straight the fuck up. Just bloop and everybody, I was just like, wow, wow. And so, dude, I was sized in and uh, I took a nasty, nasty, well, the, 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 nasty The point loss. that Joe's trying to make guys is look, this thing is a steaming pile of cow It's dung. a steaming pile of shit, but look, I what, couldn't outlast it. That's the whole point. The I markets can, can remain yeah. irrational longer than you can remain solvent. So if your first questions in coming to a community are, hey, I want to be a fundamental trader, uh, do you guys, yes, we glimpse over that and teach that, brother. We actually have a full course on that, but I'm telling you right now, after seven years, I have come to the understanding that if you have a process and you day-to-day -day lines with a little bit of knowing what the fundamentals are, I, I, I can almost promise you'll make more money. Yeah. I'm not gonna promise anything. If you There's watch no Chicago but. series, you're going to learn all of the red flags yes. that have to do with fundamentals. So if you go into a company to do your fundamental research, and you know all these red flags that Chicago has given you and taught you how to look for over the 45 different episodes that are, you know, 20, 30, 40 minutes long each time, yeah. you're going to know exactly what to avoid. Now, if you're searching for fundamentally undervalued companies, like they're trading under their valuation, uh, just going to be a hundred percent with you. I don't want to mislead anyone because again, we're not salesmen. We're not trying to get you to subscribe just to get your subscription. Right. We're not here to teach fundamental valuation. Very, very, very few places even do that. And the reason being is most fundamental valuation strategies are not talked about. And the reason why they're not talked about is because those people believe that if they share that edge, the edge it is gone. diminishes yeah. the value that uh, of the stock. It diminishes. So people, well, let me rephrase that. It, it influences the value at the current point in time. And so they can't get as good of a value. It's basically like if, if everybody advertises a 50% off, you know, you're not going to get the good inventory. By the time you get there, you're going to get 50% off of the shitty blue sweater that's got fucking yellow kites all over it. Like, it's like, who is going to buy that? I wouldn't pay 50% off. Fucking wouldn't even buy it. I wouldn't even do it for a penny. Yeah. But that's it, the point. It's all under lock and key too, man. They, it, they give you just enough at those places to say, yeah, we'll lure them in with fundamental analysis teachings, but then they don't give you the secret sauce because they're too worried about losing their own edge, man. Oh yeah. That's, so dude. if you're, if you're search, one of the guy was asking on YouTube, he says, yeah, I'm just trying to search for offerings and know what to look for. Then dude, 1000% fundamental series from Chicago is the best thing on the market. 
It Dude, is not the even bees not even knees. just that, bro. Not even just that, guys. In in the main trading chat every single day, we are devising this plan together. You're gonna know if a stock has dilution. If you go to fundamental analysis, Brandon is going to post the data on the mm -hmm. day. What, like, dude, we you gotta. Dude, understand, a lot of the times, man. you don't even need to do it, <laughs> bro. Yeah, you There's gotta people understand. that already do it. You got to understand what a collective community experience means, dude. We all want to know the dilution, dude. We're all trying to help each other out. That's the freaking point, dude. Yep. Um, another question is, uh, and this is, I'm just going to say this out loud. It's not really quite, we can just blaze right past this. But if I do annual now, am I grandfathered into the lifetime discount down the road? For all questions related to subscriptions, please text Tosh at 213-458-5997 or email him at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Sound like a radio host, brother. <laughs> Guys, <this laughs> except had a except if I were to do it as a radio, I would have to say the number three times. I don't know <laughs> yeah, if you knew seriously. that rule, but like every time you hear a radio show, they'd be like, text Tosh from My Investing Club at 213-458-5997. Again, that number is 213-458-5997 for that discount today. Again, 213-458-5997. His voice is so seductive, isn't it? I, <laughs> I want to sign up and I'm freaking one of the mentors at MIC. Yeah, this is 1021 KDGE The Edge. Uh, shit, I, dude, I'm going to text myself. I'm so sold. Coming at you with your new track from Radiohead. <laughs> <laughs> guys we can't make clear enough um in fact we are um we're six days away from raising lifetime prices we are six days away from not including the accelerator course in oh the God. annual membership all that's included right now so I, I can't say this enough man you have six days left guys text me hit me up right here uh 213-458-597 we will get you the savings that you need we will get you the best prices but you have six days left and we are we are very much sticking to that any day after yep. that is it, it's a no-go for savings man we've we've been Dude. saying this every day for a month look at that fucking kite shirt that's so funny yeah that's so good <laughs> that, that was dry because i pulled up i pulled up dries uh joe like Dude, this was the number one example of a stock that people thought because on the fundamental side, how bad it was. Like, look at this until it happened, guys. So this was running and all the reverse splits since then, it's obviously not trading at yeah. 460 million or whatever that is. Aren't it, they like it, no longer listed? <laughs> I'm probably pretty sure, but here's I the I think thing, they man. like went belly up and they're done. Dude, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Dries is like done. Dude, I can't even keep up with this fucking- Like they're off the face of the time. earth. So guys, look at this. Oh God, here's Alex. Someone <laughs> say dries. Of course. <laughs> Alex, <laughs> he wasn't even around and all of a sudden he's just got it on the background, like walking around his house and all of a sudden he just hears dries and he's like, shoo. Dude, like, Alex just freaking teleported and swooped in here. He's like, Mr. Steal Your Dries. <laughs> <laughs> So here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. Guys, if you were to play Studio just fundamentals, draws. I don't know. Like, yeah, there's the photo. This is in Alex's room. This is Dry Ship Zinx, dude. Here's the thing. If you're just a fundamental trader, do you know how many millionaire traders we knew that ended themselves on this day run? So obviously, you guys, these are not the correct numbers at the time that it was running. I'll just give them to you. This was about 3 to $4 at the bottom. This was a high of about 120 that is three days of saying ad, 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 because it's the worst company ever. Look what happened to you. Look what, dude, millionaire traders were dead overnight. There's too many examples like this, guys. So we stay away from this bullshit, man, of playing your bias. True trading is not being stubborn and not adding it, adding and adding. You need a plan. You need a process. You need a tab partner to confirm that every single day. You need a community Like behind AWX, you. all those like Amex companies that were running like back in the past, like DXR, AM, AWX, all those three letter tickers. Endless examples. Yeah, yeah endless examples of where the fundamentals are just ad. KBIO, dude, this terrible. was one. Yeah, KBIO, you know, KBSF, uh, everything that, you know, has these like incredible squeezes. 
you know, they're all fundamentally trash. But the question is, if you're going to be a fundamental short seller, can you outlast the squeeze? Yes. And always remember this, you guys, if you're not familiar with the markets or you're just learning, you need to literally tattoo this on your skin or print it out, screenshot, do it. This should be the wallpaper on your fucking computer, dude. Markets can remain irrational longer than you can remain solvent. What yep. that means for the guys who are a little bit still iffy on that, what that means is the market does not care about who you are. It doesn't even know you. It's got a mind of its own. And all you can do every single day is play the strategies that you know or we teach. And then you can put risk management in place that is going to protect you. Bao's been trading for 20 years, dude. 20 yep. years. How do you think a trader lasts in the market for 20 years when one trade can technically end a trader? Through risk management, through proper discipline, through good teachings, through every single day, he has a certain identifiable and um, very determined process. <laughs> Bow. What do you say? The people on YouTube Alcohol. live know. That's how I lasted two decades. <laughs> Yeah, Bal, I, dude, I mean, I, I say this every now and then, but like, dude, I, I'll never forget. I was at a party with Bal one time. I think we we're at the Philly event and I, I looked at him one day. I go, Bal, dude, how do you look younger than I am? And dude, you're older than me. And he's like, dude, my body has been so preserved by alcohol over the years. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's, and he's Asian, of he course. Says, he's like, you think this is tequila in this glass? No, this is embalming liquid. <laughs> this is embalming. The I've been embalming my own live body for 20 years to preserve myself. It sounds like the science chemistry lab where you see a frog <laughs> floating in a bottle and it's like a thousand-year-old frog. That's funny. Uh, this frog was from the crustacean period. Yeah, that's yeah. bow, man. All right, Still questions. Keep them coming here or we're going to just rant and go off on tangents for the next hour. Hey, I could talk about how young Bao is on a whole I'm other you, webinar. Yeah, we could That's talk a whole... about all these meetup memories and all that. So, oh, uh, here you go. What, we missed one. I've been <laughs> studying for a few months and working to save up. Would you recommend on continuing to learn behind the scenes or using a live account and applying the information I'm learning? No, 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 no. So, okay. Uh, there's a fine line between trying to not sound like, a, I, look, dude, I, this is not from a salesman's perspective. I have to make this very clear. You need to understand that you need to invest in your education first. A doctor does not become a freaking doctor until he goes to medical school, a lawyer with law school. Dude, trading is not different. The guys that blow up tomorrow or lose all their shit are the guys that try to do this on their own. And specifically the guys with small accounts, they go, dude, okay, I'm gonna turn this $2,000 account into a $10,000. Dude, do you know how much better your money is, is, is spent on an annual course where you can learn and simulate trade on a, on a paper tr simulator because maybe you don't have any money left because you spend on the course? It is in so much better hands learning learning, learning, learning from professionals who've been doing this for decades than trying to do this on your own and have limited access to resources. Like, I cannot explain that enough. When I first started, I had yeah. the biggest ego in the game, dude. I thought I was the big dick in the room. I thought, dude, fuck all well, these clubs and stuff and be, services. Actually. I could do it. <laughs> you're, in, you're in a club with a bunch of Asians, so. <laughs> oh, God, here we go. Val said it. <laughs> the Texan, here comes the, the Texan, the shots fired, bro. <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing guys <laughs> bow just put an asian on his barbecue man <laughs> here's the thing guys it, your money is so <laughs> much better spent in investing in your education and your mind versus then trying to play your ego and trying to do it on your own and look i'm not even saying that's at mic i think mic is the best resource on the literally i've never seen anything like it and this is i'm telling you right now the best resource on the internet but i'm telling you right now i'm not even saying this from an mic standpoint i'm saying from dude don't try to do this on your own seek help yeah 100 percent. yeah and if you're if you're still learning um i i would definitely recommend if you go to a live account use one share, one share. And just to get the feel you're going to burn through commissions, but it doesn't matter. I, it doesn't really matter too much, but again, I'm not, I'm not telling you guys how to spend your money. The, the idea here is that, um, you understand the process long before 
you actually go live. If you yeah. can't, if you can't recite the process and you can't analyze charts and you can't do all these things like the back of your hand, you're not ready to trade live. Well, Joe, maybe you're, you're you trading trade. live trying to figure that out and you're slinging 500,000 shares, 200 shares, 100 shares, 400 shares. I don't care what, any, what it is. If you don't know the fuck, if you don't know the process, I'm going to try to Joe, slow let me, it let down me say, there. Let me, let me say it like this, guys. If you are asking questions on how do I do risk management? What is VWAP? How do I play trend? What's a low hanging fruit? Guys, you're not ready to trade real or if you are trading real, trade small so you can learn. And I mean enough to just cover your commissions. That's the reason yep. why you need to invest in education. So right here, uh, where's your trading basic? Oh, there it is. Trading basics series with Joe Kelly, guys. This is literally reason enough to join in. This is why Bao wanted me to pull this up for you guys. Look at this. Joe, how many videos do we have in here? Seriously, dude. Like week 56? 56. 56 videos. And let's go to the first video. Just to ever. put it in perspective, that's 56 weeks. 56 it was weeks. once a week, there was a video. <laughs> you can trust Joe because he used to be a car salesman. <laughs> that's hysterical, bro. Here's the thing, guys. These are videos tailored to everything yeah, it that's takes not, to become a new trade. It's not an oil leak. That's sweat from all the horsepower. <laughs> yeah, serious. Joe, you, dude, look, you're the creator of this shit, dude. You, you tell them how necessary this is. is your so creator, just man. to put it in perspective, guys and gals, I was in every single other chat room out there that tried to teach, tried, okay, tried, tried to teach day trading. I've, I've been through all their courses. I've been through all their content. I, you know, and it was terrible terribly organized, terribly put together, terribly explained. And it was more of just pumping member success every single day to you through a video rather than it, or they were recapping the market, which who gives a rat's ass about a recap? You can be right after it's already happened. Dude, but if there's everybody's no process, right after it happened. Right, yeah. Well, right here, you know, I was thinking this. Horse shit, was yeah, I no. there? Was I able to see inside your mind? A recap is the most useless freaking content video, useless excuse for teaching. Bro, literally, it's like saying a, a hindsight hooroo dude is literally watching the lottery and being like, yeah, I would have picked 5, 12, and 18. Yeah, and I knew that. I freaking knew it. That's my <laughs> birthday, the inverse of my weight and also the like i knew that was my firstborn's second cousin's anniversary or dude, that's why i would have chosen that number. bro it's literally like saying in 2023 yeah i knew a pandemic was coming in 2020 right? what the fuck how do you know stupid <laughs> yeah, no You're right D it's, dude i'm just like okay all right there's there's literally physically no way. anyway so the trading basics course was created Back in the very beginning of MIC, it was the first course that we put out. My course and Chicago's course were the two courses in the beginning. It was the basics and the fundamentals, which is like, that's the biggest key to any part of day trading is understanding those two things. And that's it. We put that together. And the intention was to teach everything you could ever possibly want to know regarding the basics to be able to practice and expand on and then go side by side with fundamentals on that. And then it became, you know, 56 weeks of content and that's a crap load of information. And so we were like, well, people aren't really watching the videos. And so I came to Alex and I was like, dude, I personally think that we need to create a course that is seven and a half hours all the way start to finish gives people a um, syllabus to work through, gives them chart examples, gives them the process, gives them literally everything handed on a silver platter. And all they have to do is watch the video and memorize what we talk about and then go practice it. That's it. Right and here, that guys, was the it. birth of the accelerator course. This the birth of the accelerator course is everything that was taught in the trading basics entire course and series condensed into seven and a half hours and it's not regurgitated guys okay i don't use any videos that i've already done this is all newly recorded new examples of every chart pattern of every rule of everything that we ever 
do or create. And then it was tested by all of our lifetime members and we beta tested it with them, took Dude, their suggestions like and feedback. This is not just us putting out content that we think is the best. This is literally tried and true from members, testimonials from members themselves about what they wanted in a course. And that is what we delivered. And so that is, I mean, that, that's, that's the purpose of the Trading Basics series. So don't go trade live money if you're not ready for it and you can't recite the process that we teach um, like the back of your hand. There, and here's, no and here's you what you can expect, man. And here's what you can expect because you'll be uneducated in doing so. You may see a little success. You'll give it right back. And then you may give back way more. And then you've lost your account. Everyone oh, here's a great a little question. success in the beginning because you don't know shit. But here's yeah. the problem. You don't know how to cut a loser. You don't know how to take profits and recycle shares and scaling and what, you know, front side and backside is. You're just buying because it looks like it's on sale when all the, you know, major veteran short sellers are getting in or you're shorting a stock because it's up high and, it, yep. and it's quote unquote got to come down. That's the or you just keep buying it because exactly. it's free commissions and your broker just says trade all you want. Yeah. You're hot can in as fast <laughs> as you freaking can, man. Yep. Here's a good one. Uh, or first question is, can you do a video re relative to NYSE stocks versus NASDAQ? Um, there's really no distinction between the two. I was going to say not even needed. As far as day trading goes, no distinction between the two. There are different listing requirements for both. Um, markets but really you know you can find that information on google it's not anything like that is going to be much value as far as teaching goes yeah because um, here's, here's the thing man that's too specific that's like hey teach me bollinger bands in our site no dude we teach trading we teach yep. trend we teach lines we teach the process is applicable to any market thank you you just yeah, said yeah. it perfectly you just said it yep are we the newsletter that everyone mentions on twitter no that would be uh no that newsletter that everyone mentions on twitter streams live on YouTube every morning at 9.30 in the market time and uh, pumps all of that person's alerts. <laughs> he just, bro, that's the funniest question I think we've ever been asked in our time. So are we the no, newsletter? That is not First us. off, first off, do you know what a newsletter is, brother? We're a club that teaches actual trading. A newsletter is a scam. A newsletter is follow my alert service yep. and then you can piggyback my trades and I'm going to sell into your buys and you have no idea that I'm in your face scamming you that's the point of a newsletter dude or blatantly denying that that person's alerts do not influence a market okay blatantly denying behind a disclaimer to not follow his or her trades and then it's clear that the trades are being followed and then bragging about a pnl online that oh dude i'm so happy oh that i just God. made 200 grand today yet yeah. it took twenty thousand viewers to pump my position up there scam ass mother dude Sorry. do you guys understand what you're getting in okay actually hold on who's got it shit i uh alex are you who's in got here? it you... shit Not dude me. i've I'm got gonna... a i've got a video exposing these scam artists in these newsletters alex yeah. if you're in here post that link bro or I'll while, have to find while it. you're looking for that is um Next question is, Tosh, if you were to play SINT, how would you approach it? Entries, exits, and stops. I can already tell you what Tosh is going to do. Oh, thank you, Alex. You. Guys, really quick, just for the last thing, if you want to know the true, the, the absolute true scam behind newsletters, you have to watch this video. You need, yep. so screenshot this, get the link right that you have to watch this video. Um, it, they're just selling you lifestyle, man, and they've got all these agendas. When it comes to SINT, I had, uh, let me scroll back a little bit if I can. Hold on one sec. This While you're doing is a that, is the for price me. for annual subscription, will that rise after first? Is, no, annual subscription is not going to increase. The, the lifetime- Lifetime's increasing right now. Increases. The annual stays the same. However, annuals after July 1st will not get access new annuals okay let me rephrase that new annuals after july 1st will not have access to the accelerator course that will be a separate um item thank you joe so, so annual and lifetime are still there annual stays the same okay 
but annual after July 1st won't get the accelerator. Lifetime still will get everything, but the price is going up. So you guys are not necessarily, whoever's not a part of MIC are probably not familiar with pivot points, which we use. So I won't actually talk about that, but here's the thing. In this market, because there is so much strength, I am hitting what's called one of our main strategies of waiting for a top and hitting a bounce. So when you say, how would I have traded this? There's only two ways I would have traded this. I didn't because I'm focused on the webinar today. And of course, hindsight's 2020, and I could say I would have had perfect entries and, and bullshit you. I probably wouldn't have had perfect entries, but what I at least would have looked for. I don't trade small caps anymore, but I probably would have shorted at 257. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna say I would have <laughs> looked for. I'm not gonna say I would have gotten in at these exact levels. We are waiting for a top. I would wait all day for this major top. And then this is Dude, the this general is area insane. where I probably would have wanted to get in. Then I like to, in zombie hour, which after the first hour we have made famous, I come back at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the reversal hour. So if we draw a line, let's draw a quick line. And I'm not going to go too heavily into this. You got to join MIC. Um, I, this I wish you would change the time zone on your charts. I know, dude. I still have yet to do that. 250 line and 240, I would have scaled into, into the zombie hour, which I was obviously giving this webinar. This is the reversal time. This is what I focus on every single day. This is uh, scaling back into an area of resistance that stocks usually fade or tank during this webinar at, at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 3. So, I mean, those are the two things I look for, man. Wait for a major top, short the bounce, and then I would have waited to reversal hour. That's as simple as it gets. Mm -hmm. These were not tops, guys. These you, were not you, tops. You and Alex actually talked about this setup in detail in the Lifetime Member Trader Clinic. Oh, yeah. Dude, <laughs> totally. You talked really? about this exact setup in, in SINT in the Trader Clinic where we do one-on-one -on -one help with all the Lifetime members. So if you're considering a Lifetime member subscription, that is a huge value for all lifetime members is a trader clinic, which is all one-on-one -on -one help with as many lifetime members as we can um, on a webinar. And that's held once a month. And Tosh went into full detail on exactly this setup. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, exactly I totally forgot setup. about that, man. Guys, the light, the lifetime members have access to even that on top of everything else. Uh, it's just a wonderful experience, man. Me and Alex get on there and we just talk about everything that's going on in the market. So right now, um, you know, the thing that's not working in this market is hitting anything front side. Cause like, you, like the guy that just asked, you know, are you guys the newsletter? No, we're not. But there are newsletters out there pumping so many positions that front side nowadays, guys, is like, way more dangerous than you can ever imagine. So you have to, as a short seller, wait for these major tops or levels of resistance like double and triple tops and specifically time-based trading, which we teach at MIC. That again, we can't give you every detail on a free webinar, but if you join, all of this is covered in the accelerator. We will teach you all of our strategies, how they're implemented. It's wonderful, man. But here's the trader. Yeah, we're real series. people that's also going to answer your DMs too. Where you're not just going to subscribe and then send us a message and we'll be like, like Tosh said, fuck off, watch some videos. <laughs> but dude, look, 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 Bao just did it without seeing Bao's chart that he did exactly what we did. Reversal yep. hour and then he hit on a pop once it broke down under view up. Dude, this is as self-explanatory as it gets. This is process. This is daily process. This is what we teach you, man. This is not some freaking magic. This is not something that's like, oh my God, I've never seen this kind of accuracy before. Bro, this is every day we wait for certain identifiers like this. Bow shorted into what's called reversal time in the sense that stocks yep. get back at a certain time. And then once it started breaking down, weak stocks get weaker. You hit on a bounce and then cover on a wash. It's as simple 100%. as that. Yep. And Fe, look at Faye, oh mini God, Bao. Faye. This, this is Bao with long hair, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> dude, Faye is a rock star. I love it, Faye. Nice Faye just need, Faye's just zooming in so she doesn't, because she doesn't want us to see how awful the rest of the chart looks. Bao, I, I, you're my brother, man, and I love you to death. <laughs> but yes, Faye is better looking than you. I'm Sorry, bro. <laughs> her, her tick, she probably filled it at 257. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah, Faye had a top ticket. Let me just show this one fact, trade that looks so really good. She good. filled it two sixty three, and that's not even. <laughs> yeah, how did you get a two sixty three print? You know, dark pools. Dark pools. I was able to raise it by like five or six. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Question about Deathline. I heard you guys use it. 
okay, let's be clear. We created that shit. Yeah, we fucking created okay. that shit. MIC is the creator of the death line. We, uh, and anybody that uses that phrase is copying us. If you ever hear that used elsewhere, please yeah. let me know. Like that's yeah. ours and ours. Yeah, that's alone. trademarked, patented, fucking all rights reserved. Nah, I just playing. <laughs> <laughs> that no, nah, no. Somebody is using Deathline and trying to quote say that they created that or say that that's a thing and sell you their service. Yeah, they learned it from us. So would you rather learn from the imposter or the original? <laughs> yeah, for real. Look, the so, death line is yeah. the last support of the day, brother. The, the technical death line is if you were to eyeball something like this, like if I'm eyeballing S-I-N-T, what, what was this yesterday? Um, I'm going to draw a line at the last freaking support. Now, this was already, this didn't have, in my opinion, too much meat to come down. So these are really special when like the death lines up here and then they break. Again, death lines are a little bit fewer in between than like, say something like a, you know, what Bao just did, like a reversal pattern or something like that. But when they come, dude, they are really, really oh, good. Oh, they're juicy. If the criteria- Yeah, and they're not there every day either. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like if yeah. the criteria is perfect for, a, for um, yeah, exactly. I heard the other chat room talk about zombie hours and low hanging fruit. Yeah, of course. It's because they all- Of course they are. Which, dude, oh my, DM me which chat room. I'm curious, like, I want to know who's stealing our shit, man. I already think I know. I think I know too. Yeah. Don't make it public. Just DM us. Well, I just want to know. Dude, first they bash, then they copy. Everybody yep. bashes for all these things. They were like, that's too simple, blah, blah, blah. And guess what? All of our members are making money. It wouldn't making. copy us if it wasn't real education. Dude, for We real. provide real education, real experience. Literally, I mean, it doesn't get realer than MIC. Dude, literally, Bow and Faye just traded real time. Like, I don't understand how this can get any more real. real. This is yeah. not a recording. <laughs> On a slow day. <laughs> On a yeah, slow day, we just showed you process. Slow day. Yeah, and okay. I literally just showed you Smooth exactly day. how we trade at MIC and then Bow post the exact chart of what we do. <laughs> like, it doesn't <laughs> get better than that, dude. Here's what we do. Uh, he's here's what we do. Me and Tosh, yeah, they, we're going to do this, this, this. And, Ta and Bow's like, yeah, I did that. Yeah, Bell's like, we just did that live. Oh, by the way, Faye, Joe doesn't hate you. His wife does. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. Oh, I'll never forget that, man. That I'll Asian girl. That. That, that, that Asian, Asian girl, girl that makes a lot of money every day? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that hottie. I mean, that girl. Here's oh. the key, guys. Here's the key. You need process. You need a community. You need a place where you can <laughs> grow. <laughs> what dear optimist, dear pessimist optimist, was. pessimist, and realist. While you guys were arguing about whether it was half empty or half full, I drank the motherfucker. <laughs> That's the opportunist. The opportunist. <laughs> Dude, that is so good. Asians are the best traders here. I Jeff Co. with the beast. I would argue ninety three. It, it, because well you know well we did have the argument that that alex is you know you know technically right isn't armenian asia right right, right, right. <laughs> wasn't that the debate <laughs> <laughs> right 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 i mean maybe i just like you know i'm, gonna I'm tell over you right here now, like man. is texas from asia I'm going to tell you right now no matter how good you are at something there's an asian somewhere out there that's way better than your ass <laughs> I'm telling you, fuck yeah, that's the Dude, truth. Like, and Asians make the world. Dude, like, you know, I like thing. woodworking and I like building shit. And so, like, I'll go on YouTube and I, like, watch these woodworking videos and there's, you know, like, some white guy is, like, building something and, you know, it's, like, all pretty and fancy and fancy, like, um, joinery and shit like that. <laughs> and And then all of a sudden I find, like, some Asian building the same shit and he's, like, hand carving the fucking joinery. And I'm like, He's just wow, doing it with laser beams fuck? out of his eyes. I'm like, and you gotta be shitting me with this. 
I'm telling you, man, one day I was, uh, one day we were in uh, freaking Las Vegas. Alex, remember this dude, we were, uh, we were in Vegas, man. And, and uh, Bao needed his, uh, his shirt press. And I was like, bro, I got you. And then we called it my ironing club. And while I was ironing his shirt, I was helping him out. <laughs> it was the first time where Bao was like, dude, you may be better at something. Than me. I was like, I was like, fucker, I will iron a shirt. Oh, that's funny. So come join my ironing club. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm the, I, my personal goal was to become a better ironing person. I was like, bro, we're going to open a laundromat after this. Yeah. I'm going to open the fuck out of a laundromat. Uh, a somebody asking, do you have any examples of a low hanging fruit set up today? Hell yeah. XRF, I, hold on, hold on. BRN, hold on, FFHL. I got a whole, bro, I post every single day. Hold on. Let me, let me show you visually. So we're not doing hindsight hooroo. Yeah. Um, let me. Well, Alex put you. it in his freaking watch list today. Yeah, it's always in Alex's three watch list. right there. Hold on one sec. I, I was just reading Alex's watch list. I don't know any where, of these tickers. Where is my phone? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a clue about any of these. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, guys, I don't even what I post remember every what day. runs. XRF today, BRN, um, what was it called? Uh, FFHL and um, shit, the arrow's blocking me on that one. What was, what was that one? Oh, HEPA. So if we go back to Alex's watch list, guys, check this out. This is what we post every single day. Uh, dude, this is the watch list every single day. This is day two low hangers, uh, low hanging fruit. This is hot chicks of the day that are maybe front side that we're staying away from on the short side. And these are things that we want to play death lines, whatever it is. If something is pertinent, uh, running pre-market that has a strategy that we want to talk about, it's in the watch list. You guys have access to everything, 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 everything. Nice bow, nice. Bow caught some jack on that one push. See that, guys? You see what he did here? I'll, I'll, I'll expand upon it. Uh, nice catch, bow. Very nice. This is what we do, guys. We short weak stocks that have pops and that are already broken trends. We're not fighting, if you notice, we're not fighting the strong stocks all day. Bow is going where the weakness is. See what he did right there? This is what we teach every single day. Look at the one push into a whole dollar number, whole dollar number, one, boom, nice fail. Very identifiable, just like every single day. New guy here, uh, two days an annual member for pattern setups. Is it best to watch the accelerator multiple times first or transition into the video library for more specific details? Um, dude, I would watch the accelerator three times over. Then I, if I was a brand new trader, I would go directly to the trading basic series um, while simultaneously watching chat all day and then maybe practicing on a simulator for um, two weeks. And then like we always talk about, you don't want to handicap yourself with a simulator forever and build bad habits. You need to feel what the emotions are like. Then Fred, you want to get on a real account. Even if you only use one shares, brother, you need to know what it feels like to have emotions on the table. So just play to, you know, trade for the commissions. You know what I mean? But the key right now <laughs> is sitting back, watching, learning, and um, definitely watching the accelerator course. Yeah. And there's a video that I did as a follow-up to the accelerator, just because I noticed a lot of, questions I was getting were the same or the same struggles were the same. And so um, this particular video right here, if you kind of want to study update, check out that video. Um, nice where it looks show. like I'm trying to sell you OxyClean. Well, it looks like you're on the shitter. So if I have a guitar in my bed, in my I bathroom, wouldn't doubt it. I, I have reached it. a new level of success. Bro, okay. I wouldn't doubt if you had a phone <laughs> on the wall in there with a cord, you had a guitar. Sweet home Alabama. <laughs> Insert but I'm coming on you. I'm just doing all the like guitar picking like through. <laughs> that video is about how to play like. <laughs> yeah Leroy Brown <laughs> oh my god that's hysterical <laughs> look at this, well, look at this. Look same at this. strategy guys this like if Bell hasn't shown you three times over real time what we do every day broken stock top is form he was scaling into the nine line of resistance he scaled got partial in right there here's the thing scale the pop after this major drop, he is scaling the pop up to probably, if I were to pick his brain, probably the nine level with a stop over nine. This is processed every single day. That's called scaling. Get in, get in some more, save your bullets, boom, cover on a wash. 
This could not be more identifiable, guys. Hey, no problem, Fred. You don't need to top tick, guys. The guy, look, the guys that are trying to short here and here and here and guess the top, you are the first ones that need education. You are the first guys that need education. If you are waiting for this to short pops, then you have got a handle on things and we can progress your skills. But if you are trying to find tops, you need the accelerator immediately. Mm -hmm. Number one way to lose is fight trend, man, and be stubborn. All right, did we miss any questions here? Okay, a lot of Asian conversation. Asian, <laughs> a lot of Asian, Asian conversation. Asian. <laughs> what broker would you recommend for people who cannot afford 25,000? We got better. I want to bypass PDT. Yeah, fucking, you know, so the so do there's the rest of the world. Yeah, so does the rest um, of the world, but check this. Yeah, I know CMEG allowed you to trade ultimate trade. Oh, no, 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 I got it for you right here, people guys. People here discouraged me from right here. going with them. Venom trading, baby. Yeah. Talk to Chad, I mean, talk to Chris, talk to the guys at Cobra. This is their sister company. Um, I think it's a three to 5,000 minimum start. Yes, they are under PDT, but guess what? You can trust them with your money. They're US based. Yep. If you, and I'm just going to be real about this. Um, if you want to trade day one shorts, Venom is probably not going to be your choice because the borrows are just super hard to get. Cobra if you want to focus, yeah, yeah Cobra is going to have those. That's the nature of the borrow game is the big accounts get the borrows and the little guys feed off of the scraps. Um, but with, with Venom, if you're looking to go long or you want to trade low hanging fruit, that would definitely be the broker I choose. If I want to short day one plays, I'm probably going to end up using trade zero, even though we can't really recommend them. Um, it's, uh, but I'm not going to deny that a lot of people use them. A lot of our members use them. We'll keep yep. it there. Yeah. Any more questions guys? Um, so here's what we're doing guys. Like I said, I'm going to go over one last time for anybody that may have just come in again. You have six days to get the accelerator course for free. This, the, everything we've talked about right now is covered for free in the accelerator course. Eight hours, almost eight hours of linear teaching and focus and everything you're going to need. Um, so reach out to me. If you want the lowest price we've ever offered on Lifetime right now, you got to reach out to me and we'll get you in. You have six days before a price raise. In fact, I want you to text. I want you to text this. Here, we'll yes. type bundle. Oh, I want sorry. you to text bundle. <laughs> I want you to text this discount code to bundle and we're going to hook you up. Uh, what do you think that you're interested? Oh, what do you guys think was max liquidity for size? It, what? What do you think max liquidity for size is on a ticker like SINT today before slippage becomes an issue? So basically, and I told what would be your like, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to summarize it for you. How many shares would you be comfortable trading in SINT before you felt like you would influence the stock if you were to exit all your position at once. Oh, so he's just, it's not even SINT. He's just talking about a slippage factor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How many shares would you feel could influence something? Um, example being like something like SINT today, you know, well, how many hey, shares hey. would it be 10 K? Would it be 20 K, 30 K, 40 K, 50 K, 5 K, 1 K? It also depends on the volume, man. If you have a yeah, it depends million heavily volume, slippage, on the liquidity. Yes, yeah, slippage is not going to really be a problem if you've got the type of volume that we have in this market. So, you know, something like SINT, I'm, I, look, I've been giving this webinar. I don't even know what the volume is on the day of this. I've barely been watching um, charts today because I've been helping you guys. But like, it also depends on the volume. But 131 million. Yeah, dude, you're not going to have a problem. Like slippage is not going to be a major issue. Mm -hmm. But no. generally speaking, if you're trade if you're trading stocks, you know that don't have a hundred million volume on the day. Yeah, when you get up to ten thousand shares, man, you're going to incorporate some slippage. You have to take that into account. Yep, for sure. I mean, if you consider the dollar volume traded, the average position is two twenty, so it's VWAP. And if you right. times VWAP by the total number of volume, one hundred thirty one million five hundred, just use a round number. I mean, nearly three hundred million dollars of stock has traded. Yowza. I mean, your, your freaking $20,000 position is a 
is a fucking drop in the pond. I mean, it is, I mean, it's like a rip. It's like, it's like a, it's like a fish farted in the ocean. It's like a mosquito hit your windshield at yeah. 75 miles an hour on the freeway. <laughs> it's like, bleep, like it's nothing good. happens. It's like, like going on the toilet happens. for the first five minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> During that guitar lesson. <laughs> Joe, did I mean, you yeah, use it's a calculator like, for that? <laughs> uh, I mean, to calculate dollar volume, yeah. But I mean, <laughs> no, I just did it quickly. Everybody's saying, are you actually becoming Asian or did you oh. use a calculator? <laughs> Shit, I've been teaching math more in MIC than the Asians. I've been teaching more math <laughs> since fucking day one than the Asians here. Oh my God, now we have to exile the Asians, dude. <laughs> you are the new Asian. <laughs> but I'm still not Asian and that's what sucks. Oh my God, that's so funny, bro. You have well, I mean, to think about it. it. I have been talking about, you know, statistics, math, you know, Excel, all, the, all of that. Yeah, I need to try harder. Yeah. No, you got an A minus. I use Excel. Enough. Why you not Excel more? Ah, Excel oh. plus. <laughs> yeah, why you not Excel plus? Oh, shit. <laughs> I can see a sandal already getting thrown at your head, dude. Oh, my God. That is so funny. Dude, this is the point at MIC. If you guys aren't uh, understanding how much of a camaraderie we are or a family or an ecosystem or a support system for each other, how many words can I say it? You're just missing out, man. You, you're, you're really going to learn how to trade here. You're going to learn the right ways. We're going to unlearn all those bad habits that all those freaking furus taught you, that all those newsletters taught you how to chase and revenge trade and to you know break trend and you know play counter trend. We're going to help you with all those things, man. And the Accelerator course is absolutely going to be your first best guide into that with the annual membership. Um, I would go lifetime if you have the resources just because, guys, right now it's, so, it's priced so freaking cheap, man, compared to what we're, getting, what we're raising it to. Like, the time is now. The time, time is now. Time is now. The winter time. is coming. Winter, winter is coming. <laughs> calculator. Is Why are you not calcu now? <laughs> <laughs> that's good <laughs> dude white white parents i swear to god dude white parents are like i don't know joe if your parents were like this but dude i could fall flat on my face and they'd be like thanks for trying man you're dude great. for real yeah i'm like your dude Asian parents the right are like place. the exact opposite bro <laughs> your heart was in the right place and your asian would be like right why your dumb ass put that foot in front of other foot <laughs> you find out your son brought a calculator to yeah because i'm a caucasian i have a c so versus I, C Asian. I'm a C Asian. The Asian. Oh my God, that's funny. Dude. Well, that's kind of funny if you think about it. We're all part Asian. If you're Caucasian, you just you're you're a grade C Asian. You're like you're not the A5 Wagyu. You know you're you're. Oh you know. shit, dude! I'm like a tempura roll. Yeah, you're like yeah. <laughs> if, We're like if, USDA if, choice. If like if Bao's A5 Wagyu, then that makes probably yeah, Alex like a yeah. shrimp fried rice and be like a tempura <laughs> roll, and you like a fucking a bao bun. I'm like hamburger meat that you feed to the dogs. Oh shit! Dude. You're the sake bombs in the bag. <laughs> Made with Jaeger. <laughs> Is Venom trading platform good? Venom, uh, they use Trader Workstation as the platform, is the, is the native platform, but you can actually integrate Venom into DOS if you want to pay per month. Yes, you so will have that's to That's what pay I used like to do. I used to have Venom accounts when I was under PDT, and I had uh, two accounts there, and I had them linked to DOS in the same, like, thing. So I paid, like, I paid, like, 150 for like DOS subscription and I paid like an extra 20 or 30 per month or some shit like that to link a second account. Yep. Into the same login. And guys, because it was the same broker. Don't look, look, man, don't be cheap about it too. It, you're going to want DOS. You're going to want a professional, professional platform that we use at Cobra that we use every single day. I mean, look, dude, these are DOS charts. Like if you go into chart recaps and fill these, these are, these are, um, uh, this is a DOS chart, man. Like you can see the entries and arrows. You can see where you're fighting trend. You can see where you're not, where you're waiting, where you're patient. Like you're going to want to use DOS for sure. Yeah. Thousand percent. Thousand percent, brother. Thousand percent. Uh, do we have any other questions? I feel like I just burned like 10,000 calories with this webinar. <laughs> this was so fun, man. 
Alex, thank you, brother. Yeah, dude. Look, every single week we are here for you guys, man. We are look, dude. Bow and Alex are here, dude. Like the moderators are here. The members are having fun. If dude, I'm telling you right now, man, MIC is you're gonna have so much fun. You're gonna learn what you need to know. We've got the best pricing possible right now. This is my weekly ab, ab muscle workout. <laughs> He's laughing too much. <laughs> Holy shit, man. We're in the matrix, man. We're in the matrix, especially in here. We're in all the time. We're here to help you guys. Look at my PMs going off as we speak. I'm going to answer all these as soon as the market closes. And guys, again, we're here for you. So text a bundle to 213-458-5997. I will know that you're serious about getting the accelerator course, maybe getting a lifetime course or the lifetime package. We will get you started the right way, the best pricing, what we can do before July 1st. We'll get you full access today and you could be learning within the hour. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much, man. And anybody new, man, welcome to MIC, man. Welcome to MIC. <laughs> Here's the best one. <laughs> Here we Does go. Does the discount code Farmer Banks still work? <laughs> Why don't you text it to me and we'll find out? <laughs> <laughs> that was like Farmer Banks. favorite thing, bro. Text Who me, guys. We'll get Farmer you started. Farmer Banks. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. That was, that was the funniest question of all. Time. That was probably the best one that we've had in a long time. All right, guys. Joe, fun. I'm out of here. Guys, thank you so much. Bow, Alex, everyone for coming. We'll do this next week. Tom D in the house. Faye, Faye, thirsty Faye after Joe and his wife. We'll see what happens. We'll keep thirsty. you posted each week <laughs> from the dramatic <laughs> conclusion. <laughs> everyone text Farmer Banks to Tosh for the special. Text Bundle or Farmer Banks to <laughs> <laughs> the telenovela that is Faye and Joe's oh family. See you guys. This has been fun, man. We'll do it next week. See you guys. Later, Later Joe.